Hey guys, this is going to be a bonus video. A lot of you asked me how I did the, the effect where I was walking in the game with my character and I had my head on top of my character and how I got it to move with my character make it, to make it look like I was in the game. First thing you guys are going to need is a green screen. I have one of these, but there's, uh, there's real cheap ways of actually doing one of these green screens. You can actually do it with, you could do it with paper for like two dollars. But I got, the, I got the big green screen. So I have my camera right here. I use my webcam, or you could just use a, a regular camcorder, and just record yourself with a green screen in the back. It's real important that you have lights pointing at the green screen, and you gotta, oh, here's another thing. See the little wrinkles? See the little wrinkles like this? You have to get the wrinkles out so that there's no shadows. Shine the light on that, and you got your green screen. Next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna wear a green shirt. And the green shirt is going to be like this. Well, without that, that symbol on it. The green shirt's like this. That way, only my neck shows up. See? Only my neck shows up. So, it's, so that's, that's, that's how I'm going to use my head. Now, another thing you can do, like on my chair, on the chair, what I, what I do is I just cover it up like this. <laughs> so the chair doesn't show up either. That's another trick I did. Now let's go in the, in the program itself so I can show you how to implement it in the game. Here we go. I'm going to show you the three things you need to crop your head on top of your World of, World of Warcraft character. First of all, you need the World of Warcraft account. You need a copy of Fraps. And you need a webcam or a camcorder. Now, um, to make your whole life a lot easier, you could also use a program called XSplit. And it lets me do all kinds of cool stuff in while I'm recording. Like, check this out. See how my... I'm dragging my picture while I'm, while I'm moving, and I, and, I, and I can also chroma key this. I go right here, bam, I'm chroma keyed. You could do that live and while live streaming, but you notice you, you see a little bit of green stuff on the edges, but look, that's the camera. See, it's my green screen. There you go, that, that fixed it. All right, let's get into the game and uh, get some footage. All right, there we go. Get in the footage I need. All right, that's enough. All right, guys, here is the video track that I'm going to be working on to try to get the... Bam! My I'm head on top of my character in the game. I picked out a little section of the video where I actually run, walk forward, and that's the, the, the scene that I'm going to use. Now, I, I recorded separately a scene where I'm just talking. Hey guys, with the green screen behind. Here me. I am like that, in same. World of Warcraft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this Looking above good. that clip. Okay. Hey guys, here I am in World of Warcraft. Now, in order to add a clip, an, uh, a video track to Sony Vegas, you right-click Insert Video Track. Um, a lot of the trial versions of Sony Vegas only let you do like two, but um, since I have uh, the full version, I can I can have like unlimited amounts of layers. It's looking good. I like this world. Look at that guy over there. Okay. That is now the next thing we're gonna do is called a chroma keyer. If you look on the options of the video, if like we zoom in, see these two little options right here? The one on the bottom, you can add the eff the effects, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna choose an option that says Sony Chroma Keyer. Once you choose that, you're gonna choose the option green. Cause our background is green. You could also use um this uh, you can also use the dropper to uh, to try to choose the color. Now what you gotta do <laughs> is you gotta adjust this until it comes out. There we go. You keep adjusting the green screen. I mean the chroma key until your head pops into the game. There. Perfect. All right, my head's in the game. Now you're going to use the other option, which is the one on the top, and this is where you can zoom in and out. Like, watch, see? So now I'm going to find my head, zoom into it. <laughs> there we go. My head is in the game. I think it's a little bit too big. Let me make it smaller. There we go. <laughs> All right, now. Okay, it's in the it's it's in the game. It's in the game. 
I am in the game. My head is there. I got the headsets on and everything. Okay, now, this is, uh, this is the most time-consuming part of the whole process right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the track. Hold on. Okay, here's the track, okay? I'm going to make it smaller so you can see it. Okay, now, if we drag the timeline right here, it goes frame by frame. And this is what we're going to be basically be doing. You could use the arrow key, like I'm doing right here, to go frame by frame. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click a frame, and then I'm going to try to match up the head to, the, to that part right there. I'm going to show you right here. Right there, right where like the neck starts. I'm going to match up the head. And then you're going to click the arrow key again. Look, I click it the arrow key. Click it once. Oh, no. I'm in the wrong option. <laughs> Hold on, let me click down here. Okay. Now it'll go frame by frame. See? Every time I click it, it goes a frame. And then you go back frames. So <laughs> that's why it's so time consuming because you're going frame by frame and adjusting. See? And every time you adjust it, if you look on the, on the, on the, if you look right here on the track itself, it's, it's recording it. So I go another frame. Whoops. Ah. Okay, I go down here. Another frame. Now you could do it every couple frames, but I like doing it frame by frame because then it, it just makes it look seamless. Okay, hold on. No, it's a little wrong. All right, hold on, guys. Let me do this frame by frame, and uh, I'll fast forward it for you. Wow, it's a lot of work guys. So you can imagine if it's like a minute clip how long this would take. This is pretty much, let me see how long this clip is. This is not very long. This clip is uh, roughly eight seconds. And it took me, <laughs> it took me a couple minutes to, to do it frame by frame. So you can imagine a couple minute clip. All right, now it's done. Let's watch it, see how it, look, how it looks. So I'm like, Hey guys, here I am Ballers. in World of Warcraft. It's looking good. <laughs> I like this world. I get a kick every time I, every time I watch the clip. <laughs> it's funny. All right, there you go, guys. Um, I'm going to show you uh, what the real clip look like, looks like once it's done. I'm going to render this real quick, and I'm going to show it to you guys so you guys can see it. All right, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to crop your head into your in-game World of Warcraft character. I'm like, hey guys, here I am. World of Warcraft. It's looking good. I like this world. 